Hello, welcome to Tech Channel. In this session, we will learn about a way through which we can create the menu in DisplayPad. So firstly, I will show you the output and then we will discuss the logic and display file design. So I'm calling this program menu R. So here we have designed one menu uh, where this is the verbiage, normal verbiage. Then we are displaying one message on the screen like uh, select one uh, of the following and then we are giving three options here, four options here. And this is the verbiage for selection or command line. And here we are taking the input from the user. So whenever the user take any input, it will show the uh, selected page. Okay. So for example, if I select one here and hit enter, so it shows me this about channel details. Okay. Similarly, if I press F12 and take option two, then it will show all the technologies we are dealing with. If I press F12 and take option three, then it will show upcoming sessions. Okay. So these are the some pages that we have assigned on this menu. And similarly, if I press 90, then it will sign off. But other than these options, if I press 50 and hit enter, so it shows this message in the selection. Okay. And if you want to sign off, just press 90 and hit enter. So it will take you out of the program. So mainly we will discuss this process, like how we can design such kind of screens and menu. So let's start with the display file. So here I have created one display file menu D. Let's see how to design it. Taking option 70. So these are the some records that we have created in this program. Sorry, in display file. So we will see the first one. So in first, we are just keeping this as a verbiage. So if you want to keep the text, you can put inside the quote like here, test. This is the web page, right? And if you want to assign any color to it, then uh, just put your cursor here in uh, just one place be before your text and then put asterisk. This is the placeholder position and then hit enter from colors, take option Y. And here you can select any color you want to assign to that web page. So I'm taking one, so it assigns red color. Okay. So in this way, I have designed this text. And all of these texts, like whatever the text we are showing here, it is de uh, designed with the help of course. Okay. If you want to delete it, then just put your cursor at the placeholder, one uh, place before the text and press D and hit enter. So it will delete it. Fine. Now this is my output field. Why we are using this output field? Just to show the error message to user. Whenever user uh, sub, uh, enter any input, wrong in data, then we will show the message here. So if I put question mark at the placeholder position, so it will show MSG. So I have assigned this MSG, MSG name to this field. Okay. Now here, this is also a text. This is also a kind of text. This is output field. So here you can see that it is a B. B means both mode. It is output as well as input. So if I press question mark here on the place folder location, so it will show command line. So we have given this name to this field. Okay. And these are the text as we have designed like these texts. Similarly, we can design these function keys also. And I have uh, given them, them the color blue. Fine. So this is the only thing that we are passing here. If I press 8 option here to see the indicators that we have assigned put y on indicators so here we are assigning only one function key which is cf03 for exit fine now we will see the next screen that we are having here so next screen is about so i have given the same name about and here i have written these text so similarly in the course you can write the data and in the same way, I have created another two screens like these here. This is the text. I have changed the color for this text as blue. Okay. Now, last record is sessions. And here I have stored information related to upcoming sessions. So these are the pages I have designed. Make sure, like here you can take option eight. 
then see the indicators what all indicators i am using cf0 to 12 because on next screen i'm just uh, giving one option to press f12 for exit and you have to keep this overlay as y in all the screens so that we will be able to overlay our uh, record to another record okay so yeah these are the designing part now we will see how we can write a lo logic to display this menu and how to handle the menu operation okay so let's see the program so as usual here we are writing the code in fully free format so first of all we are declaring the file which is menu view with work and keyword below to that we have started the main logic so here i am running one loop till the in03 is off why in03 because whenever user press function key f3 it should come out of the screen so we are just checking the loop running the loop till the in03 is off below to that i am resetting two variables or two fields which is command line and in012 why suppose first time it came in this loop and someone press select any value in the command line or press f12 then next time whenever this uh, loop iterate it will find the value in it but we don't want to use the pre uh, previous values so that's why just after entering in the loop we are clearing the all the previous values and then we are uh, uh, displaying the screen so i'm doing F exfmt on record one and after that we are resetting the message as well so that it should not contain any kind of previous message now from line number 23 we are doing the selection for command so here i'm using se select and then select select when so line number 26 we are using we are checking whether command line is one then show the exfmt the about the screen till the in012 is off same way when command line option is 2 we are displaying the tag screen till the star in012 is off same way for command line 3 like till the in012 is off we will show the third screen which is sessions and here on for uh, command line option 90 we are just setting the star in03 as on why because whenever it on it means the program will terminate the loop and directly came out of the program and other option by default will be invalid selection like if these option are not given by the user then it will show invalid selection in this message field and then we are doing the end as and end at last on line number 48 i am setting star and large star on which means we are turning off all last record we are turning on the last record so let's compile it and see the output so once it is compiled you can directly call it with the program name or you can use the c option so here i'm using c so now screen is populated so in the same way if you want to see the first screen you can show it so this screen or this record is displayed till I have not turned on my indicator F12. So whenever I press F12, this indicator will get turned on and it came out of the that screen which we have shown. Right? And same way we have another two options, 2 and 3. It will also uh, populate it to the user till the IN03. IN012 is on, off. Okay. Once it is on, then it will come out of the main screen. And here, if we take option 19, then it will turn on the indicator 03, means function key F3, and it will terminate the main program. So I hope now you all are aware and you know like how to design the screen in this way. So whenever you want to create any kind of menu and you want to perform some menu operation, then you can design your screen in this way. So yeah, that's all for this session. In the upcoming session, we will learn a few more things. So thank you for watching TechShamit.